here at Station Camp, River Access, on a cold January day. I'm gonna try to find some stuff off trail. Get back with you in a minute on that. River's up and moving. Everybody, this is Papa in the Woods and my old buddy Frankie from years ago. We prowl the woods a lot. Uh, we're here up from Station Camp at the Chimney Rocks, and we're gonna go out on the ridges above and try to find the Station Camp leaners. Never been there before, and I don't know what, what to expect when I get there, but they're supposed to be pretty neat. Come along with us. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs> Give you guys a look at the Chimney Rocks, right beside the road going to Station Camp. They're pretty cool. Off we go. All right, we left the cemetery at the corner cemetery and are following a horse trail right now. And it's pretty easy traveling. The cliffs are starting to pick up on the right. And we're gonna either go around them or kind of up above them. I don't know, we'll figure it out. We're out here on the end of the ridge. Uh, a lot of trees down from the big fires we had a few years back. Had a major windstorm a few weeks ago, got a lot of stuff back. Rhododendron, Mount Laurel Thicket. It's been rough traveling. We're gonna try to get down under the cliff row here and find the leaners from down there. Frank going through thick stuff now. Get back with you in a minute. We finally got off the ridge and came down through that. And I don't know if we're here yet or not, but we're uh, seeing some odd looking stuff, including one big hemlock behind Frank there standing on a tree. And this is a big boy right here in front of us. God, he's a monster. Anyway, going on. Scrambling on down through this. And man, these woods are pretty, but man, they're rugged. Nice cliffs, rocks, and they're just Kind of in strange position. And we gotta kinda try to make our way down maybe through there and see if we can find them there. This is definitely different terrain than what I'm used to in, in this area. Everything's just uh, in a jumble. We're gonna keep going looking. Don't walk under that. A lot of ice down in here still. Pretty cold today, it's not gonna melt any much today.
we had to get back up on the ridge and we came off that. Frank's going around because we're gonna go down that and try to go down through there and look for the leaners. Man, it's been tough, tough traveling today, but we're still here. <sighs> yeah, it's rough in here. Uh, high ridges, little gullies. And this is what happens when you try to find something that you don't know where it's at and never been to before, but that's a lot of what a, what a lot of off trail hiking's about. You can look on a map and study this and study that, but until you get out there, it, you don't really know. Going on. <laughs> kind of climb back up the ridge, you come to a real pretty cliff line. And I don't know if we're here or not. Starting to see some cracks that go all the way through. We may be here. I don't know. We'll figure it out in a minute. Show you more if it is. Come around the point for that little place. Frank found a hole that goes back in there. And then there's another crack through the rocks. Maybe it looks like one ahead, so we'll go back in there and see. All right. Coming up this. And inside these rocks. Wow, there's some intersections in here. This has definitely got to be the station camp leaners. Plus, I can hear the river off below. So, I guess we found them. This is un unbelievable. There's at least three different places where you have to go all the way through. Frank says he's found more around here. Go check them out. Oh, gosh. Huh. Follow Frank through this one. You can go back that way. <laughs> Building C. Pretty neat. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It took a while, but I think we found it. Yeah, we found it. <laughs> Yeah, there's little cracks you can go through everywhere up here. Circle through and come back around. This is pretty neat. Struggle getting out here, but it's worth it. We're on the back side of them now. Took one of the little passages through. These are cool. Hard to get up to, but man, I, I couldn't explain how to get back. We definitely did not take the most direct route. But we made it. And in my opinion, it's worth it. I believe 
kind of covered about all of it in here. It's confusing. And we're gonna drop off the backside, see some nice big rock formations of cliffs back in there and see what it's about. And I'll show that to you too when we get there. But this place, it's pretty neat. I didn't be, be able to get up right there and get a view from the top, I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if I videoed coming through here or not. It's confusing. Okay, out the back side. Frank's headed on around, so I'll follow him. We'll see what's around there. There he is. Yeah, the far ridge top. Got some pretty neat formations on it, but I don't believe we're going over there today. And then overlooking the River Valley. Which the Big South Fork is down in the bottom of, and I can hear it, so. It's pretty nice up here. Still see evidence of the fires we had a few years back. But we're gonna head, try to find our way back down off this thing. We're going to start heading on back. One last look and say goodbye to the lingers. Hard to get here, but worth it when we did. We finally made it off the hill, down to the creek. We'll follow this down to the station camp area and we'll have to walk back up the gravel road to get back to the vehicle because we came down off the top of that and it's probably taken us at least a half an hour to get from the top of the ridge down to here. It was slick, it was steep, it was tough, but we did it. Heading on toward the river and station, it's just barely out of sight right there. Well, this is Papa in the woods and we're back to where we started. We had to walk up the gravel road from station camp about a mile up here and we're back at the chimney rocks. We took so many wrong turns going out the ridges to try to find the leaners that we didn't know how to come back that way, so we just Hoofed it back up the road, and here we are. Getting ready to head home. <laughs> Till the next, vi next video, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe to my channel, because there'll be a lot more of this off-trail stuff. Hopefully it'll go a little better than this one. <laughs> thanks a lot. See ya.